The next part of this assignment, when we look at assessment and technology, we're going to record behavior and use that uh, in a Google spreadsheet to evaluate and assess behavior. That's another aspect of assessment that sometimes gets overlooked. So to do this, the fastest way to start is go to new and open up a new Google sheet. We're not going to use a template for this. We're just going to go ahead and do it. Once we are in here, we can go ahead and we can give our sheet a name. We're going to say behavior assessment. Now we have our sheet titled. We're going to go ahead and we're going to fill in uh, our first cell. So we're going to go ahead and call this behavior tracking. Now what you'll notice is the text bleeds over into the next cell. So one way we can do that, there are really two ways we can adjust our cell size so that it will include all the text. We go and hold our cursor over the, the cells. If we double click, notice it, go, it went ahead and did that for you. Another option is you right click over the cell, go to resize column, and you select fit to data. And that will do the same exact thing for you in there. So it does it automatically. Now for the purpose of this assignment, what we're going to do is we are going to analyze five different observations of human behavior. Now these human behavior can be verbal communication or nonverbal communication. So for instance, when we think about nonverbal, this could be touching of hair, playing on a cell phone, bouncing of a leg, whatever it is. And if we are close enough or we can hear conversations happening, maybe we analyze specific words that we're listening for. For instance, maybe how often does the person say the word um, eh, uh, or like, things of that nature. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to complete this column. I'm going to pause the video and complete the column and we'll come back after I have the columns filled in. Now, as you can see, I've gone in and just uh, filled in the cells. I've also gone and minimized the cells themselves so that they are not real wide. They just have the content in them. So this would be, for instance, classroom management. You're monitoring how often students are off task and you notice you have different times that students have been off task. Now I've just made it simple and said observation one, two, three, four, five. Maybe in here you would have students' last names, for instance. So now that we have done this, maybe this is the end of the day or end of the week or end of the semester or end of a project, whatever, however you define the parameters of when you are measuring or monitoring behavior, that's up to you. Now what we want to do is we want to sum up the times that our students have been off task. So very simply, we can go over here to the sum option. And now I'm going to highlight the items that I want summed up in terms of addition. Now you're going to notice it's going to automatically fill in our, our equation. We want B2 to F2, so we're good. We can go ahead and hit enter. And now we notice that that student has been off task a total of five times. Now we want to do the same exact thing with our columns below. So we could go through and manually hit sum and all that for each one, or... What's the fastest way? We hold our cursor with this little cross, or bull, whatever you want to call it, cross, bullseye, T, whatever, comes up and drag down, and that will automatically copy our, our sum formula into that cell. And here we go. Now we can get a, a variety and see exactly when our, how much our students were not performing, right? So here's our sum. I'm going to go ahead, actually, I'm going to leave that open so you get a better idea of what we're going to do next. So the next item we want to do is we want to insert a chart. Now we want to make sure that we highlight the appropriate columns for when we go and insert our chart. So we want to highlight column A, but not the title, just the names of the students or whatever it is that we were observing. So we have our students' names or whatever you want to say, whatever column you want to put in there, highlighted. Now I want to highlight our total number of occurrences. We don't want to highlight each individual occurrence. That's no good for us. So this is what we want here. Now we go to insert chart. And that will do that automatically for us. Now notice, I can click here and drag it over. We have our titles, observation one, two, three, four, five. This again could be student names. And then on our left hand side here on our vertical axis, we can see the number of occurrences. Now what we want to do is we want to go in and modify the chart itself. So notice here, 
I have selected a column chart. There are a whole bunch of different options. If you want to do a bar option, you can do that. Uh, it's up to you how you want to do this. Okay, I'll let you decide. For the purpose of this exercise, though, I'm going to stick with the column chart. Now, what we want to do is we want to modify our title and both of our axis so that we can properly label them. So, what we want to do is go to customize, customize chart and axis titles. The chart title, we'll go ahead and just throw this in there. We'll say behavior tracking. Again, you can monitor this for maybe it's a specific assignment or a group work or whatever it is. You'll notice down here you can change the different font style. You can change the color. I'm going to go ahead and make that bold. You can center a line. You can do whatever you would like. And you can change the font color. So we'll go ahead and we'll change this to, and we'll change it to that. Why not? Now the next thing we want to do is label our horizontal axis, which is here, the number of occurrences. So just simple, I'm sorry, the observations themselves. So we'll just change that into observations. Maybe you have it listed as student name, whatever you would like to do. Again, you can see the different options that are here. I'm going to go ahead and leave these and we will go now to vertical and we will just simply say frequency. And you can see this one's a little bit smaller. I might bump it up a little bit. And there you go. So now you notice you have your title and both axes, axes, I don't even know if that's the right word, but I'm going with it, is are labeled, right? So now you're good to go. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to be able to write in a summary of what we see. So for instance, maybe this is just one student in your classroom. Maybe they have an IEP and you have to monitor their behavior or how many times they're off task. So now we want to make our report. We want to write our report. Maybe this is what we're sending over to the intervention specialist or whoever the special ed teacher at the school may be. So we want to type in our text, but we don't want something, for instance, like that does this, where the text goes and bleeds into multiple cells. We don't want that. So what we want to do is want to go and skip, give yourself a space so you have an open row of cells here and highlight some cells that you want to use. And then we're going to merge these cells. Now we can go to format, merge cells, merge all, or up here on your taskbar, you can just simply select merge cells. It's pretty nice, either option. Now we need to make sure what our text is going to be. So in here, we can say what type of font we want. I like Oswald personally, I'm gonna go Oswald 12. And here we want to align, center right, I can keep mine at left. And vertical align, I would go top so that the text appears here at the top of the box. And then uh, lastly, when it comes here to text wrapping, select the wrap option. So now we're ready to go, we can type in our observation. So the student was off task multiple times during the lesson. However, some days were better than others. All right, now you hit enter, and now look, your text is wrapped right inside that box for you, right inside that cell for you, I should say, that you've merged. Now you have a nice tidy report. You can put dates in here, you can do whatever you want, but now you have recorded what your student was doing, their behavior. And this can be behavior, this can be positive behavior. It doesn't necessarily have to be anything bad, right? This can be something that, it's up to you to decide how you want to use this in your class. The last item in this tutorial is now we want to go ahead and share this Google Sheet with whoever it may be. Maybe it's the school psychologist, the school counselor, as I mentioned, a special ed teacher. Maybe it's the parent of the student themselves. So we go to share, just like you would on any other G Suite application. We want to make sure that anyone with the link can view. Now this is important because remember we've talked about this before. Anyone on the web can view, especially if you're sending this to parents. Now for instance, if you're sending it to uh, your principal or your school psychologist, that's okay if they're on the network because sometimes when you, you'll notice if I'm on campus, for instance, when I do this, it'll say only those signed in through Ashland University can witness this or see this. So you want to make sure, especially if it's going to parents, that it's on the internet that anyone can view. You simply copy that link. Maybe you want to share the link directly. 
you're good to go. Uh, also, if you want to send it on email, you can go ahead and do that right here by typing in email addresses. But I would recommend if you do that, unless you want them to write on the spreadsheet, go in and edit. Make sure when you send it, it is a can view, just like you have it here. Because if you change it to it, anyone can edit, anybody's going to be able to write on it. Now, that's not bad. Maybe you're in a collaborative environment with the school counselor or whatever it is, and that's what you want. But for the purpose of this, we'll just say can view. You have your link. Again, you can copy the hyperlink or send it as an email address. So that concludes today's tutorial on how to create a behavior management uh, document here in Google Sheets.